Hey everyone, welcome to Arsenal Fan TV and this is the preview for Monday night's game, Arsenal versus Liverpool. A game I'm really looking forward to. Liverpool are coming to the Emirates so far with a 100% win ratio, having beaten the likes of Stoke City and Bournemouth on Monday night last week. And of course, that game against Bournemouth, it has to be said it was one of the most unconvincing performances that we saw from last weekend's action. Scoring the offside goal through Ben Teke and Bournemouth themselves having a goal disallowed. So a rather unconvincing game, but nonetheless they've come away with a clean sheet. They got a clean sheet in their game against Stoke City as well, so they've had two clean sheets on the bounce. That partnership of Skirtle and Lovren, although you can tell there's a mistake in that at times, it has done well up until this point. I hope that going into this game on Monday night, we're able to exploit Liverpool and really show the difference between where we are and where they are. We haven't had the best of starts to the season, of course. I would regard Liverpool as the big, uh, big test for us initially. But losing two to West Ham on the opening day of the season uh, was a big blow for us. It's important that we get our home form up and running against Liverpool because last season that was so integral to the, the uh, success that we had in the league. And I think the, the game against Crystal Palace last week was one that we could take a lot of positives from. I just think if we defend a little better going into this game on Monday, the attacking prowess will really uh, follow through. I mean, we played really well on uh, on. Sunday last weekend against Crystal Palace and we did some really good stuff going forward. Nine times out of ten Alexis Sanchez would have scored the chance that he had. I mean Ozil created about five chances for him. Unfortunately Alexis wasn't just at his best yet. He's, I mean that was his first full game for a while for Arsenal and this in going into this game he should be really sharp and I'd think that I'd like to think that he'd be able to put those chances in the back of the net. I'm really confident that uh, we, we can beat this Liverpool side convincingly. Last season beating them by four goals to one, arguably our best performance of the season. And of course, Liverpool are going to come to the, um, to the Arsenal Stadium, uh, the Emirates, and they're going to be a bit more cautious, I would have thought. I think they'd be happy to come away with just a point in this game. I'm not, Liverpool are going to be competing for a top four spot this season. In games like this, I would expect them to line up defensively. The new players they brought in, the likes of Benteke, Firmino, James Milner, etc., could be integral to how well Liverpool do. I think one player that we need to really exploit in this game, I think it's their left-back, Gomez, who uh, I think has had a fairly solid start for them, but he hasn't really been tested yet I think when you've got someone like Alexis Sanchez uh, Oxlade Chamberlain penetrating that play I think that he could really be exposed in this game and that's where I would certainly be targeting uh, targeting this Liverpool defence but of course it's not an overly uh, overly robust Liverpool defence let's not forget that they have kept two clean sheets but Lovren last season was absolutely appalling Skirtle is certainly error prone despite being one of Liverpool's best centre halves um, so I do think that there is there is definitely potential to exploit this Liverpool team throughout the midfield I think that that will be where the battle is won really they've got Milner and Henderson in the midfield pit but I do think that there's, uh, there's a lot of potential to exploit their midfield. We should overrun them in that sense if we line up in the right way. And defensively, I don't I don't believe we should have too many problems in this game. Liverpool uh, didn't really seem to have too much attacking prowess in the game against Bournemouth uh, last Monday. And the players that we need to keep quiet, most obviously, Philippe Coutinho and uh, Ben Tege. They're the players that I really do uh, believe that we need to keep quiet in this game. And uh, apart from that, I don't think we should have too many problems. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't expect the kind of performance that we had against Liverpool last season. Although that, that kind of performance would be absolutely superb, I'd be more than happy with a 1 or 2 nil victory. As long as we win the game convincingly, it'd be good to keep our first clean sheet of the season. That'd be good for Pear Cech's confidence as well. And overall, it's going to be a big game. It'll be a tight game. I think it'll be won by just one, uh, one goal, possibly two of the max, but I'm not expecting uh, quite a performance that we saw against Liverpool last season. I took to Twitter to ask for your lineups going into this game, and here are a couple of them. I'm just going to read out. If you don't follow me on Twitter, it's at simplycookie underscore. And uh, if you follow me, I'll make sure to get your tweets in before and after every game uh, in these videos from now on. So the first lineup that I've got from Ahmed Mahmoud is Czech, Bellerin, Koscielny, Mertzaka, Monreal, Cochlin, Kazula, Chamberlain, Sanchez, Ozil and Olivier Giroud. The next one from Jared Ash Palmer, not really a lineup, but just says, same as last week, but Walcott up, walk up front. We need pace. And then the next one from at Mazzola19 is... Czech, Bellerin, Mertzak, Koscielny, Monreal, Cochlin, Kazula, Chamberlain, Ozil, Alexis and Olivier Giroud. The next one from Essence of Wilshire's Czech, Bellerin, Mertzak, Koscielny, Monreal, Cochlin, Kazula, Chamberlain, Ozil, Alexis Sanchez and Olivier Giroud. The next one from at Giroud near post is Czech, Bellerin, Mertzak, Koscielny, Monreal, Kazula, Cochlin, Chamberlain, Ozil, Alexis, Giroud. And I'm going to leave it there in terms of lines because a lot of them are pretty similar. But everyone that tweeted in, I'm going to leave them running on the screen as I always do. And thanks to everyone that has taken the time to tweet in. Really do appreciate and I love hearing your lineups for this game. But I think the one 
thing that has been evidenced throughout reading those tweets is that so many people want to see us play with two out and out wingers. Although I can understand the reasoning that we have for playing Aaron Ramsey on the right hand side, and I think uh, I can't quite remember who it was that made a really good point about why he plays on the right hand side last season on Sky Sports Football, but he defends really well in the uh, in that position. Although we don't get the best out of him going forward, which is very frustrating at times, and we do see that. Tracking back, he's really good in that role, and he kept Zaha quiet in that game against Crystal Palace. And that's possibly another reason why he might start on the right-hand side against Liverpool. It does frustrate me a little bit that we're not getting the best out of Ramsey whilst he plays in that position. And I want to see more fluidity going forward. I don't think he had a bad game by any means against Palace. I thought he did some good things going forward, but defensively, that's where he was... Um, he was more pivotal in the game. I'd love to see Chamberlain start. I'd love to see us play with Sanchez and Chamberlain in the same team. I think so many people would agree with me on that. Playing with two out, out on our wingers would be absolutely superb. And I really think we'd be able to exploit that Liverpool defence. Exploit players like Gomez, as I've mentioned. And really get into players like Skirtle and Lovren. There's definitely potential to uh, really threaten that Liverpool uh, that Liverpool back line with those kind of players. And we should run up top. Having the likes of Ozil, Alexis Sanchez, Chamberlain running off him. It'd be great to see that. And there's also a good shout for Fiala Walcott starting the game as well. Not possibly up top, but on one of the flanks. I think Giroud's going to be integral to this game. Uh, I'm saying I think a lot throughout this video, but certainly I would like to see Giroud start the game with players running off him, which would be really great to see. And, you know, overall, I'm just really looking forward to this game. There's a lot of potential within this Arsenal side, and I'd hope that we would play with two out and out wingers. But I, I, it is my feeling that we're going to play with one central player on the, on the right-hand side, which... Might not be a disaster. I mean, we did play really good football last season towards the uh, back end of the season with Aaron Ramsey playing on the right. He did a good job, got a couple of goals. But I think if we're going to see the best out of him, he's got to play through the middle. And uh, sadly, we, I don't think we're going to see two out our wingers playing this game, although I would really love to see that. But anyway, guys, leave your thoughts on the game in the comments box below. Once again, thanks to everyone that took the time to tweet in uh, your lineups. I'll be doing the same thing, just getting your thoughts on the game afterwards. So make sure to follow me on Twitter at SimplyCookie underscore. Subscribe to Arsenal Fan TV. Subscribe to my own channel, AFC Game by Game. I'll speak to you very soon, guys. Bigger club for me. Listen, Liverpool have got a great history.